Hello from Johnstown Castle, my name is Patrick Forrestal and today I'm going to talk a little bit about cover crops, which you see growing here behind me. I've taken some soil up from the ground from different plots that we have behind us here, including some that have had no cover crop and different cover crops, including a legume, vetch, um, a forage, rape and a radish. And we'll have a look at what effects these have on the soil. In the long term, cover crops can do a lot for your system, but in the short term they can do things like hanging on to nitrogen in the biomass, slotting in a time between the main crop where you can put carbon back in to feed the crop and also helping with infiltration, helping us to deal with the time uh, when we get those heavy rainfalls that can wash away the best part of your field. So let's take a look first where we've got no cover crop growing. If I'm going to break this apart here and you can see that it doesn't come apart super easily and if you zoom in here there's not a whole lot of root mass there to keep a structure to that. And if you compare that we come over here to the forage rape you can see you've got a root mass there that's that's growing into the soil and if we open this up here we can see those roots coming down through it and this is providing a healthy environment uh, for soil life including a worm which we see here we've also got tillage radish here which grows um, quite uh, deep and again if we break that up it breaks up really easily it's actually hard to keep these together and right alongside that radish we can see an earthworm here. So this carbon that's there in the root systems is feeding the worms and feeding the microbes who can help to glue those soil particles together and keep the soil better able to manage carrying a machine for instance. Another option is using something that's a legume which is fixing nitrogen. For example we have um, a, a vetch here which has grown and if we zoom in here on the root system legumes have these little root nodules which you can see here and these are like little fertilizer plants working away under the ground in your field so basically the plant is using solar energy this is like a big solar panel that's capturing energy to feed this fertilizer nitrogen plant under the ground so to conclude Cover crops, they're really something that's not just a one-year thing, it's part of a whole system. Putting it into your system over the longer term to reap the benefits and rewards. In the short term, things like hanging on to nitrogen, feeding the soil life, and helping the best part of your soil, which is that clay particle that you often see washing out if you see brown water leaving a field. Cover crops bring these sort of benefits. So it's up to you, I suppose, to look in your system and see where you have a chance in between the main crop to stick in a crop that can feed uh, the soil. So look